Real life, real stories, life lessons with Esther Joseph. Hi, how are you doing? This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I know that you have been probably waiting for me to actually um, just tune in to you guys to let you know prophetically what's really going on. Well, first of all, I want to say this. I pray that before you all just jump in your emotions, and, and this is this is something to be emotional about. Don't get me wrong, it's, a lot is happening. But also, a lot is happening that a lot of you can't even fathom. It's more than meets the eye. Yes, that young man is dead, but I promise you, it is not how it seems. And what I mean by that is, someone is pulling the strings and to be honest with you, everybody is, is it, the, the plan is going along perfectly. It's going along perfectly just the way they want it to go. And that is high emotions, high awareness, because they need to usher in that, they need to ban that, that gun law like now. So, prophetically, I want you to think about what I'm getting ready to say. I'm getting ready to say some deep things that only you can discern spiritually. You're not going to be able to put this together two and two is four. That, that's it's not checkers. This is chess. These people are playing chess. What people am I talking about? I'm talking about the elite. All right. I want you to know, as a trained professional, most of my friends were cops. Um, after, in my college years, when I first began college at Brunswick Junior College in Glencoe, Georgia, I actually used to work with a lot of trained FBI agents. Um, you know, we took the psychological test, everything. So, I'm not just going on what I know, but also spiritually discern. Most cops are scared to even pull a trigger, believe it or not, because they're afraid just like you are. You just don't know that. And at that, now we're talking about a subject, okay? That's a, a criminal at that time. So for a person to be that easily, to just want to shoot somebody point blank, lets me know that was not a cop. That was somebody that was in that uniform and they saying that's a cop, but that's an assassin. That's an elite assassin. I don't care what anyone says. I'm telling you what I'm saying spiritually. You have to understand what I'm saying. I also want you to review the photos. If you notice in each photo, the hair is different. The color of the hair is different. Prophetically speaking, this is another plan of the elite. This young man was targeted. I doubt if they ever find the anonymous caller because I promise you they probably were none. I've been speaking this for about two years now. Most of you are waking up. A lot of you are still talking about it's a conspiracy theory. But before December this year, you're going to find out there it's more than a conspiracy theory. These people are powerful. Their plan is played out every year, every day. Not I, not you, not anybody can stop them but the Lord thy God. They will have their martial law. They will have their race war. They will have economically, economic collapse. Everything that they have planned, it always happens because they are the powers that be. They own the media, they own the people. And what I mean by that is, all of this is a game of chess to them. That young man was targeted. That, it was not just random. That young man was targeted and ironically, the name, and I, I need you to hear me, the day before this happened, that which came in my spirit. Did God tell me what was going to happen? No. And then somebody and I was actually talking about going to that which. And I, and I was like, okay, God, you were trying to say something then. I just didn't tap in. I'm telling you right now, this is going to be one of the worst summers ever. That's why it's so hot. But spiritually, they need that gun law to drop like now. I see before August, a couple of more things happening. They need this outrage. They need this to, to, to spear into what it's spearing into. 
And what I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, is keep your head. Pray. Ask God to keep you mentally, physically, and spiritually strong. Is this upsetting? Of course it is. Is it unfair? Of course it is. But this thing is bigger than just that Bush, Louisiana. This thing is bigger than just the United States. This thing is the elite. They will usher in the new world order. This is just all part of the propaganda. And unfortunately, to us, these are lives. These are human lives. And it's sad. To them, it's a pawn in the game. And they're not playing. They're serious. I want you all to look at that tape again. That was not a normal cop. That was someone who knew what he was doing and he timed it. He timed it. You actually think a person would just actually do that, knowing they're being taken, knowing people were watching, knowing the store owner came out and, and had a clear view. And I have my doubts about him too, because he, he just, normally when things happen like that, they tell you to get back, stand back, go back in the store or whatever. He was allowed to see everything play by play, minute by minute. And I, I, I know sometimes you say, well, they just really move too much into it. Not if you spiritually discern them. No, you're not. And being prophetically, I'm telling you, everything from Trayvon to Eric Barton to Mike Brown, those were all hits. To Alton Sterling, that was a hit that was not just a normal um, stop. Everything is timed by these people, and these people are not playing. So what I'm asking you to do is go to the Father and ask God to show you what's really going on, because you're going to have to ask for spiritual discernment. What's getting ready to happen, you guys are not ready. And they are basing up on what's happening now. They want to get the mass Masses in hysteria, emotional, and then, is it not working? No, of course, this is something to get upset about. Understand me, I'm not downplaying it. I'm trying to get you to think and get you to see what they're doing. It's worse, and it will be worse. My God, my God, we gotta pray like never before. And as a matter of fact, they have people positioned to come out and, and speak, speak. I read Eve comment, oh, you know, blah, 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 position. I read, an, I, I saw another video, position. What, what, what are you saying, apostle? I'm saying that everybody's playing a part and this is a big movie to them. I know it sounds ironic, I know. But I also know it's in my spirit. And I'm 48 years old and God ain't never lied to me. And I pray and I know he never will. And ironically, if you go back, two years, three years, every prophecy, every time I've told you some of this, it has came to pass. I said this two months ago. They need things, November's getting ready to come. They cannot let November hit. I've said it in, in December the 1st, 2015, and I'm saying it now. There will not be an election. There will be so much chaos caused that they will implement martial law, and if martial law is implemented, the president at hand stays in office, and that is what they're going to do, whether you believe it or not, like it or not. And when it happened, you better pray. As a matter of fact, you better pray before it happened, because you thought Hitler was something. What if I tell you he's trying to be worse than Hitler? And people don't like the truth. They don't like the truth. And, and, and oh, don't talk about our... You have no idea what you all, and I'm saying it again, what you all voted in office. You have no idea. But you will. Oh, you will. And some of you are going to cry because you think it's all about the a color. It's the content of your character and the spirit you possess. And it don't take a rocket scientist to see what spirit people are possessing. Of course, you have to be spiritually inclined. So again, 
This video is to prepare you all for what's getting ready to come. If you think this is something, you have no idea what these people have planned. It is 10 times worse. And my brothers and sisters, if you don't wake up, the war is not each other. The war is a spirit war, and they got some devils, and let me tell you what really time it is. It's the kingdom of God against the kingdom of the devil. And if you haven't recognized that by now, oh, give it time. You will. That's what's happening. They're rising up, rising the enterprise. And they're positioning. They're playing. It's just a and you gotta understand, everything and everyone is expendable. That ball was marked for murder. You better hear what I'm saying. And may God, God bless his family, give them the strength and the courage. And may God be with us as well. Because frankly, we're gonna need God. So many of you have gotten far from God. So many of you want to do your own thing. So many of you don't want, to, don't want to sit down and meditate and understand what time it is. You're just acting like everything is normal. But these people are coming with the element of surprise. And when they do, you won't have time. Because now you're going to go all in a panic mode. I've been saying this for almost three years. Some of you hear me. Some of you think I'm crazy. The other rest, you just don't care. Look, I, I'm just chasing my money and my dreams. <laughs> my God, my God, my God. I, I couldn't even sleep when I saw the video. And that was, what, a couple of nights ago, right? And immediately, as soon as I looked at the video, God said, that's not a cop. God said, those are uniforms. <laughs> but they, they're not real cops that did that. Think about what I'm saying. Think about it. I want you to think about deeper. Don't go on the outside. Assassins are cold-blooded like that. A regular cop would have hesitated. I'm, I'm just telling you because my two, I, I just know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Spiritually and naturally. That man did not hesitate. He knew exactly what he had to do. You better hear what I'm saying. So... God bless you. I'm going to come with some more videos prophetically. Um, get ready. And I'm serious. Get ready. Things are shifting at an enormous rate in the spirit. So God wants you to be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually, economically. I've told you before. All these things are going to crash down at one time. Even if the dollar bill has no value now, believe it or not. Oh yeah, it's still spending. But everything's going to come like that. It's going to come in the blink of an eye. And I'm not kidding. Financial collapse. Boom. I told, I told most of you, you get gold, get silver. Y'all just playing. Y'all just acting like everything is normal. And I'm telling you, it's not normal. These are just drastic things playing up until that time. And when it happens, most of you will not be able to withstand because number one, you didn't believe. Number two, you didn't prepare yourselves. God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. But it's not just lack of knowledge. It's lack of obedience. If you sat down and just really meditated, God will show you things. But some of you don't want to know because it's too much for you. It's like, I, I, I'll just deal with that when it comes. Well, it's, it's here. The end times are here. The Antichrist is here. The kingdom of darkness, they're here. Slavery is coming back. Pharaoh is here. He's after God's people. And he's not playing. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I'll be back with more videos. God bless. Thank you and God bless you for watching. Like and subscribe.